we want to find the limit if it exists. We have the limit of x comma y approaches two comma one of the quantity x minus two y divided by the quantity x minus two y squared. So the first thing we should recognize here is that we cannot find this limit performing direct substitution because at the point two comma one, we would have zero divided by zero, which is indeterminate, which means to find this limit or see if it exists, we'll have to determine the limit along several paths that approach the point two comma one. So notice on the right here, I've graphed the point two comma one on the xy coordinate plane, and I've also graphed several paths that we could use that approach this point. To start with, let's use the two most obvious paths, which would be y equals one and x equals two. Now if we find these two limits along these paths and they're not equal, we can conclude that the limit does not exist. If they are equal, that does not tell us the limit does exist. That means we'd have to consider additional paths before we conclude the limit exists and what that limit would be. However, it is often helpful to graph the function and analyze the surface when determining limits of functions of two variables. And I've provided the graph of our surface here below. Notice how the graph of the surface looks strange along this path here, which if we take a look at our function, and recognize that we'd have discontinuity when we have division by zero. So if we set the denominator equal to zero, so we set x minus two y squared equal to zero, and solve for x by adding two y squared to both sides, we'd have x equals two y squared. So graphically what we're seeing here are these are the points where we have division by zero, and therefore the surface has discontinuity. So this is something that can be helpful if we notice this. But again, what we're going to do now is consider the limit along the path y equals one and x equals two. So for the path of y equals one, we'll substitute one for y, so we'd have the limit of x comma one approaches two comma one of, again, if y equals one, our numerator would be x minus two times one or just x minus two, our denominator would be x minus two times one squared, which is also just x minus two. Notice here we can simplify this rational expression, x minus two divided by x minus two equals one, so this simplifies to the limit of x comma one approaches two comma one of just one, which of course just equals one. So we've shown along the path y equals one, the limit would be positive one, this does not mean this limit equals one or that it even exists. We must consider additional paths. Now let's consider the path along this vertical line, x equals two. So for the path, x equals two, we'll now substitute two for x. So we'd have the limit of two comma y approaches two comma one of, so if we substitute two for x, notice how we'd have two minus two y divided by two minus two y squared. This is going to simplify, let's do some algebra down here. If we factor out two from the numerator, we'd have two times the quantity one minus y. In our denominator, we'll factor out two as well, so we have two times the quantity one minus y squared. Notice how our denominator is a difference of squares, so we have two times the quantity one minus y divided by two, and then we have a difference of squares, so we'd have the quantity one minus y times the quantity one plus y. And now when we simplify, notice how we have a common factor of two, as well as a common factor of y minus one, so this simplifies to one divided by the quantity one plus y. Which means now we have the limit of two comma y approaches two comma one of just one divided by the quantity one plus y. So notice as y approaches positive one, our limit would be one divided by two or one half. And we can actually stop here because notice how we did not get the same limit. The limit along the path x equals two is one half. The limit along y equals one is one, 
And for this limit to exist, the limit along all paths approaching two comma one must be the same. And since they're not, we know this limit does not exist. Okay, I hope you found this helpful.